In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an if statement using Twig inside of the widget creator. Like this, when you turn it on, it adds or takes off some CSS. Let's get started. Today in the tutorial, we're going to use an if command by Twig inside of Unlimited Elements Widget Creator. The first thing you're going to need to do is add an attribute. Now, you can add any attribute you want to use an if, but I'm going to use a radio button or a radio boolean, which is actually sort of a toggle to, use, to do that. And I'm going to call this flip. So it will be flip yes or flip no, true or false. And I'm going to add that. So this is my attribute. And I want when it's turned on or off to show or hide some CSS. So first thing, I'm going to go over here in the CSS and add the CSS that I want to show or hide, which is going to be transform. And rotate. And 180 degrees. Cool, so we got everything set up and now we need to add our if. Now if you're like me, I don't remember all the twig commands by heart. So we made a quick little place that you can see all those sorts of twig commands. So over down here, it says to show code examples in right panel, I'm gonna click. And over here we have the twig code examples. I'm gonna click on that once and scroll down. And now you can see that there is an if if empty and all of that the simplest one is actually an if so i'm just gonna stand over here in my code and click once on the if it adds me an example for the code so over here it says put your html or css or javascript so this is going to be the code that i'm going to put inside over here and let's go over what it says it says if some attribute equals some value then show this css so let's check this out i'm going to go into attributes check out my attribute name which is flip and the values are true or false so let's go over here back to the css so if some attribute this is actually the attribute name i'm going to replace that with the word flip and it says true or false. So let's write over here true. And if it's true, then rotate my widget by 180 degrees. Perfect. Inside of the attribute, we can decide if the default is going to be true or false. I want the default not to be flip. So I'm going to write over here false. Update attribute save that and now we can change that we can actually test it in one of the pages so i'm going to add a new page i'm going to call it vertical text because that's the widget i've added it to and let's see what we've added let's give the page a couple of seconds to load i'm going to search for my widget vertical sideways vertical text drag that inside here is my text, and we're going to test our toggle, which adds an if. So if it's true, let's select that to true, it has added the CSS. And now you can see instead of the text being from up to down, now it's down to up. So users can toggle this and play around with that. Cool, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. It's about Twig. It's my first tutorial about Twig. If you want more tutorials like this, please comment and I'll add all of the Twig code tutorials. Thank you for joining and see you in the next video.